Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session on dentistry and more. Today we have two interesting compensatory curve that is curve of Wilson and curve of Monsoon. So last session we have seen curve of speed. So let's see what is curve of Wilson and curve of Monsoon. So curve of Wilson. Curve of Wilson is the red line which is passing through the buccal and lingual cusp of posterior teeth. So this is Wilson's curve. So this should be looked from the front side that is a frontal view. You can see this red line which is passing through the buccal and lingual cusp. So this will be concave in the mandible or the lower teeth and convex in the upper teeth or maxillary teeth so it is a curve which contacts the buccal and lingual cusp tips of mandibular posterior teeth and it is convex in maxilla and concave in mandible so what is the importance of this curve so all these compensatory curves are supposed to be helping us to arrange the teeth to a perfect or ideal occlusion. So the crowns of mandibular posterior teeth must incline to lingual aspects. So this is little inclined to the lingual side and the crowns of maxillary posteriors must incline to buccal side. Okay. So then only we get a proper curve of Wilson. So the molar inclination is always should be greater than the premolar inclination. So when we arrange teeth in order to get a proper curve of Wilson or in order to have a proper occlusion, we need to incline molars more than the premolars. So why we are doing this, the teeth parallel to the medial pterygoid muscles for optimal resistance to get the masticatory forces. So when we arrange the teeth parallel to medial pterygoid, there will be optimum resistance for the masticatory forces and also we are keeping this elevated buccal cusp so buccal cusps are pre prevent food from going past the occlusal table so the reason for this inclination one is it is keeping parallel to the medial pterygoid to get the optimum resistance of masticatory forces and also this buccal tilting to prevent the food from going past the occlusal table so the next we have curve of monsoon. So monsoon curve is nothing but combining curve of P and Wilson's curve. So when we are combining curve of P and curve of Wilson by connecting all the cusps and incisal edges, we get monsoon's curve. So this red line is curve of P, and you can see this mediolateral curve, which is a curve of Wilson. So when we are combining this, what we get is, we get a 4 inches equilateral triangle which is connecting 4 inches from the condyles on either side and also to the central incisor, mesial side. So we get a 4 inch equilateral. So all sides are equal in dimension, that is 4 inches. So that is known as monsoon's curve. And also we can say that the curve of occlusion in which cusp and incisal edges Cuspant incisal edges touches or conforms to a segment of sphere of 8 inches diameter. So, I was talking about 4 inches radius, but 8 inches diameter of sphere with its center in the region of glabella. So, glabella we know in the forehead between the frontonasal uh, segment. So, it becomes a 8 inch sphere or 4 inch equilateral triangle. So this curve runs across the palatal and buccal cusps of maxillary molars. So that's all about the curve of Wilson and curve of Monsoon. Last session we had covered curve of P. So curve of Wilson is mediolateral curve which is uh, touching the buccal and lingual cusps of uh, posterior teeth. And uh, curve of monsoon is a compilation of curve of P and curve of Wilson, which forms a 4 inch equilateral triangle or a sphere with 8 inch uh, 
diameter with a uh, common point at glabella so all these uh, compensatory curves are helping us to achieve a perfect balanced occlusion so i'll come up with a new session on dentistry and more thank you